hello everyone and welcome back to my channel wearing my teeth today because <laughs> i'm going to be eating some pistachios and probably almonds here in a little bit maybe watch a show and so i have to have teeth to do that so um what have you guys been up to I am currently in room four. This chair is Cody's chair. I have one for I have one chair like this for her and one for Mitchell when we lived in our old apartment and his ended up breaking on the back the a wire poked out. So we gave it away and then we just kept this one. Oh hold on. Sorry. Anyways, um, my iron's low. <laughs> my iron is low, but I wanted to chat. I haven't talked to you guys in a while, and I know some of you are concerned about me, and thank you. Thank you for your concern. Well, I'm like, try to get me all that energy. Um... These are just from Costco. It is mostly vitamins with just a little bit of caffeine. Like if I had a cup of coffee, which it's not that much caffeine. It's mostly like a bunch of vitamins and stuff to help. So I don't absorb them. And my doctor told me to drink this. Anyways, we dropped Cody off at FSY. Which, if you don't know what FSY is, it's just like, it's kind of like church camp, I guess. So, it's a week-long camp, and we usually do it in at colleges in the area. Last year, um, and you can only do it every other year until you're 18, but we didn't let her go when she was 14 or 15 or 16. <laughs> Anyways. No, she went last year when she was 16. But I think they can go earlier. Anyways, we didn't let her go. So she only got to go once. And then she went to BYU, which is down in Provo, Utah. It was a really pretty big campus, but several hours away. Anyways, um, this year, we decided we'd try a campus closer to our home. And it's a good thing we did because our car broke down. Uh was it Sunday um it just stopped going in reverse and so yeah can't afford any transmission so we just are out the vehicle right now um but anyways we dropped her off we borrowed her father's car and took her and dropped her off at the camp and um that video is out on our family channel if you'd like to see um her getting dropped off at camp and checking into her room and stuff. It's pretty fun. And, and she has a lot of fun, makes new friends. She made a lot of friends at FSY last year, and she's still friends with them today, a year later. Uh, we had to apply for an exception for her to go this year because our area, like, only goes every other year. Like, I think we go on the even years. So we went in 2022 and we go in 2024, if that makes sense. But next year, Cody will be 18, and then she can't go. So, we got an exception. We got her signed up, paid the money, and she's there. And so, now I am here just trying to organize a little bit, clean, edit videos. I'm kind of behind. And I'm going to be having a yard sale, I think, coming up. Probably tomorrow. I don't know. I have everything. Well, not everything. A lot of stuff in boxes outside in the garage. Ready to put out for a sale. It's just. I have to take it out and sit outside. And it's hot. And so. I don't know if I want to do that. But I need to do it. I need to do it. Because we have to raise enough money to pay off our car. So we can sell it because we owe money on it. So we have to pay the loan off 
in order to get the lien off to get the title back so we can sell it even if we junk it you can't even junk it if the bank holds a lien so I mean hopefully maybe somebody will know something about cars and maybe it's an easy fix and they'll just want to buy it and fix it but I, I can't put any more money into it because I bought it for 2000 and then I had to get a whole new front end redone and thankfully um, my mechanic didn't charge me a ton but it still cost me you know like six hundred dollars and then more parts and repairs and repairs and I just I can't and so I can't put any more money into it and so especially on a fixed income so yard sale raise the money pay off Jimmy sell Jimmy and then we can start looking for a smaller vehicle better on gas and yeah so that's that's what I'm doing right now and got my my teeth in my teeth my teeth and I hate that they're so big. I haven't made a denture update video just because I haven't haven't been to a dentist because I'm trying to pay off Mitchell's implants still, and so I'm kind of just stuck with the set I have. But hopefully next year, like January, hopefully I can get in somewhere and get a new top set made because I feel like it's super tight right here. But I want to eat nuts, almonds, and pistachios. And so, yeah, that's my plan. I'm going to eat these. They're so good. I like hickory smoked almonds. We'll see. I know somebody said I should try something softer, but I can eat soft food without my ginger, so... Um, like almonds, and almonds are heart healthy. So, anyways, I'm gonna find something good to watch. I heard not many more days until the Hallmark Christmas movies are coming. Woo! I love Hallmark Christmas movies. Mm. But, um, it's hard to talk with food in your mouth. <laughs> food and dentures. Anyways, Mitchell's birthday is August 21st. And we started in our families where we kind of celebrate the whole month. We don't give gifts all month long. Well, who can afford that? But... We try to celebrate just to be nice and kind and like make their favorite foods throughout the month here or there or get them a special drink or something. On its actual birthday, we're going to have like a little party with some keto cake and stuff like that. And on his actual birthday, we will be giving him a present. But for the rest of the month, we just do nice things and you know, maybe I will make his favorite food or something like that. But if any of you would like to send him a birthday card, that would be awesome. He would love it. Um, our P.O. Box is 163 Hooper, Utah. And I believe it's 84315 is a zip. But it's in the description. Anyways. All right, you guys. I'm going to let you go eat my pistachios and almonds. Maybe see if I can't find something Hallmark to watch. And I will check back in with you guys later. Maybe I'll uh, record at my yard sale tomorrow. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll have strength to get everything set out. And hopefully I sell a lot. So we can get Jimmy paid off. And then get him sold and get us a good running vehicle. Alright guys. Take care. Be kind to yourself and others, and I will see you in my next video.